Hi, everybody. In this video, let's look at enlargement. Before we talk about enlargement, let's talk about similarity first. Two objects, they are similar when they have these two properties, same corresponding angle and fixed ratios of the corresponding sides. That means their corresponding sides are proportional. Let me give you an example. If I have a rectangle over here and another bigger rectangle over here, the length is 4 units, width is 2 units, and this is 8 units, this is 4 units. Are these two rectangles similar? We need to look at these two. Corresponding angle are the same, 90 degree, here 90 degree, here 90 degree, uh, here 90 degree as well. Here also the same thing, 90 degree, 90 degree. But just have one is not enough, we need to satisfy both criteria. Now let's look at the ratios of their corresponding side. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. You will notice that the ratio will be always equal to 2. In this case, we can make a conclusion that these two rectangles, they are similar. Okay, let me change this, uh, the measurements of this rectangle. Now the length here is, uh, is still 8 units and this actually become 3 units. Are these two rectangles similar? 90 degree, here 90 degree, 90 degree, here 90 degree. Same thing here, 90 degree, 90 degree. How about the fix, how about the ratio part? If you take 8 divided by 4, you get 2. 3 divided by 2, you get 1.5. This does not have the fixed ratio, right? So in this case, these two rectangle not similar. Okay, how about triangle? Triangle is a little bit special. Let me give you some example about triangle. If I have a triangle over here, three, four, five, and I have another triangle, let's say here is six, eight, and 10. I don't have the angle here. I only have the side length. Can I determine whether these two triangles are similar or not similar? Yes, we can. For a triangle, if they satisfy one, if they have one, uh, the one of the properties here, they will automatically have another property. Another properties. For example, in this case, ten divided by five, you get two. 8 divided by 4, you get 2. 6 divided by 3, you get 2 as well. Fixed ratio. They have these properties. Then we know their corresponding angle must be the same first, uh, must be the same also. Same thing. Then uh, we can make a conclusion that these two triangles, they are similar. So how about we go another way? If let's say this time, the question does not give us the side length, but it tells us that this angle and this angle are the same, these two angles are the same, and these two are right angle. Can we make a conclusion that these two triangles, they are similar? Yes, we can. They have the same corresponding angle. For a triangle, if they have the same corresponding angle, then definitely they have the fixed ratios of corresponding side. These two triangles are similar. Okay, now let's go to enlargement. When we talk about enlargement, we need to look at two things, the scale factors and the center of enlargement. Normally, we will represent the scale factors by K. Okay, now look at the K here. Now this here is the center of enlargement and now the K is equal to one. So that means the image and the object same size. When this number, is greater than 1, the image will become bigger than the object. Okay? So now this is for positive scale factor. How about negative scale factors? When you have a negative scale factors, then you know that the object and the image, they are on the opposite side. Just now, we talk about positive, right? Positive scale factors. For positive scale factors, image and object 
are on the same side. Center over here and object image same side. When the scale factors become negative, center over here, object and image opposite side. Okay. Now, let's look at some example. When this number more than one, it become bigger, right? Same side. This is the scale factor now is 1.5. It means that if you take this side length divided by this, you will get 1.5. You take this side length divided by this side length, you will get 1.5 as well. Okay, now we become 2, 2.5, and 3. Come bigger and bigger. So how about we go to negative part? Negative uh, scale factor, also the same thing. When you see a negative, it means that image and object opposite side but this number if this number now we just talk about this number oh let me erase it this number ignore about the sign if this number is more than one the image will become bigger than object as i told you just now Let's try some other skill factors. Now this is negative one, right? Because of negative image and object opposite side. And their size are the same because one. Now it become one point negative one point five it become bigger. Negative two, negative two point five, negative three, and so on. Okay, so the image for this is this. Normally, we will represent, we will label the vertices of an image using the same letters, but we add a prime over here. The image of D is D prime. The image of A is A prime. Okay, so just bear in mind, when we look at the scale factors, we actually know two things. Look at the sign here. If you don't have any sign, it means positive, right? When this is positive, object and image on the same side. And if this number is greater than one, it means that the image is bigger than the object. Now, let's say I have negative uh, scale factors negative zero point five. Let's say when you look at and when you look at negative, you know that object image opposite side and because this number is less than one the image will actually become smaller than the object let me show you here negative 0 0.5 the image is smaller than the object and image and object opposite side because of negative so if positive 0 0.5 Now positive 0 0.5, because of positive, image, object, same side, and 0 0.5, less than 1, right? The image is smaller than the object. Okay, so how about if the questions give us the object and the center of enlargement and also scale factors, ask us to draw the image of the, an enlargement. How do we draw the image? It's actually very easy. First, we have to understand, we, we, we need to remember this. It's go to right hand side, positive. Go to left hand side, negative. Go up, positive. Go down, negative. So we can actually use the L shape to help us to determine the image of a vertex. For example, now, Let's say I don't have this image. I want to draw it. Scale factor 3, and this is object. This is the center of enlargement. From here, we can calculate this way. Go to right hand side, right? Positive. 2, 1. This is 2, 1. Now we look at the scale factors here. Scale factor is 3. So we have 2 times 3. 2 times 3, it becomes 6. 1 times 3, it becomes 3. 
So that means if you want to determine the image of this vertex, you need to move six steps to your right, three steps go up. Always start counting from the uh, center of enlargement. One, two, one. Because the scale factor is three, two will become six. Two times three, you get six. One times three, you get three. Now let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. This is the image of this vertex. So for vertex A, let's say you want to calculate again, you can do it this way. Not necessarily you need to do go this way, you can go this way as well. Let's try. One, two, three. One, two. This is two, this is three. Oops, sorry. Should be three and two. This is three step, this is two step. Because go up, I write positive, go to right hand side, I write positive two. Okay, so because the scale factor is three, I have to take three times three, you get nine. Two times three, you will get six. Okay, we start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the image of this vertex. So if you don't want to do it this way, we, add, we have another faster method. We can actually do it this way. Once we determine one, uh, the image of one vertex, let's say just now, we, the first we got this image, right? D prime. And from here, go up here is two. Because the scale factor is three, it becomes three times. Two times three, you will become, it will become six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And from here and to here is two. And you have to time three because the scale factor is three, it becomes six. One, two, three, four, five, six. From here to here is three. The scale factor is three. Three times three, you will get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is another way to help us to draw the image of an enlargement. So the image of an enlargement will be always similar to its object. So now how about if the scale factor is negative? We look at this and this. This is image of, uh, of this object. Now the scale factor is negative two. How do we draw this image if we don't have the image over here? Same thing, we can use the L shape to help us to get the answer. One, two, one. This is two, this is one. The scale factor now is negative two. So we take two times negative two. It will become negative four. And this negative two, right? One times negative two, it becomes negative two. So two is going this way and it becomes negative four. Negative four, go to your left hand side, opposite way. One, two, three, four. Positive ones go up, then negative two go down to your knees. One, two. This is the image of this object. So how about A? Let's try another vertex. This time we calculate a different way. We're not going this way, but going this way. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. Because the scale factor is negative two, I take this one times the scale factors, I will get negative six. This times scale factors, I will get negative four. Three, go up, two, go to right. So negative six, it means go down. Negative four, go to your left. One, two, okay, always remember, start counting from the center of enlargement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the image of this vertex. This is the way how we determine the image of an enlargement. So for this video, I stop here first. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.